Good afternoon. Um, today I'm going to talk about a very serious problem. I'm sure many of you are aware that there's serious water pollution issues around the world. And particularly, we've looked at um, microbes that end up in the drinking water, and these cause uh, disease in many people. Over 3.5 million people die yearly because of waterborne illness. This is obviously a huge problem. Um, one of the issues of this is that there isn't enough pipes and plumbing to get the water from the cities out to the rural areas, and that's where a lot of the people don't have clean drinking water. So we could just have engineers build the structure of pipes and plumbing, and that would be very expensive. We don't really have time for that. This problem should be addressed now. So we have a cheap solution that can be um, implemented anywhere, and that's this sheet of paper. I have actually one with me, so maybe you guys can see it. It's just a little sheet of paper. Well, not just any paper. This paper is coated with a very potent biocide that um, it's called silver nanoparticles. If you guys don't know what this is, you're probably not alone. Um, silver has been known to kill bacteria for centuries now. It's um, really exciting because it has no detrimental effects for humans, or very few anyway. So here's an image of our paper under the microscope. You can see all these little polka dots. That's the silver. It's very small. It's less than one ten thousandth of a diameter of the human hair fiber. And you don't need much of it, less than one weight percent per sheet of paper. And it's popping up in all sorts of products, like socks to, cure, uh, to combat sorry, athlete's foot. But let's see if it can clean water. That's our real question here. Uh, so we designed a very simple experiment. We took our paper that we made in the lab, filtered water with live bacteria. You can see the before um, microscopy image. And then um, evaluated the bacteria afterwards. The, bac the paper is porous enough that the bacteria can just pass through it without clogging the paper. Um, so you can see after there's a lot of damage to the membranes. And it looks like the cellular guts just leak out of the bacteria. It's been very destructive for them. But, oh, sorry. But not for us. There's very little silver that actually came out of the paper. Um, we were quite surprised and impressed by this. We think that this means that it could be reused for a lot of liters of water. Um, and we hope that this could provide you know, perhaps the, quote, silver lining to water woes. Let's hope that we can get this from the lab to uh, the unsafe water sources out there and the people who need this. Thank you. Um, can you talk to us a little bit more about uh, uh, how much th uh, these are being used today? Um, yeah, sure. And uh, you talked about the reusability of the silver. I'm just wondering the efficacy, how much, how much water can go through and how much can be purified. If you'd just yeah. like to amplify on that, please. Those are great questions. Um, I'll answer the first one. Uh, there's an inventory, Woodrow Wilson, uh, I believe is the name. I forget the rest of it, but they have an online inventory of all products with nano in them. And the la latest statistic, which is from last year, is around 300 commercial products have nano silver. And nano silver is by far the most used um, out of all the nano. There's like carbon nanotubes and other metal nanoparticles like gold and metal oxides. But at any rate, um, so that gives you some idea. And the last question I don't know the answer to. Our lab model, I actually brought it just, um, you can see it's quite tiny. It holds about 200 milliliters, so we don't really know the actual volume, but uh, there's pretty much the same amount of silver in the paper before and after. So ideally, it could do a f several liters, maybe even hundreds of liters. I don't know yet, but <laughs> our project focus has been more on seeing a proof of concept than actual like engineering. So thank you. <laughs>